Hi guys, and in today's video, I'm reviewing with Dino the Polar Pacer Pro Watch. Welcome back to the channel guys and if you're new to the channel welcome please like and subscribe to my content and firstly um, Dino is here to uh, review the watch are you going to review it with me no he'll probably go to sleep in a minute but he wanted to be on the video so on to the review I was kindly gifted the Polar Pacer Pro watch by uh, Polar and to test out and see how I got on with it and training now firstly the watch is um, pure uh, Marked just has a running watch. Um, it's not replacing the other running series, the the M series, but it is um, it, it is uh, Marked has a running watch. Now, firstly, um, as I uh, will show you, um, these two here, the Polar V2 and the Polar Gritex Pro, are the flagship watches uh, for Polar, and they retail at double the price of the Polar Pacer Pro. Now, the Pro is uh, retailing at uh, £259 uh, British pounds and um, there is a uh, there's another version a, a, um, a version that hasn't got as much uh, spec in it and that was the normal uh, that would be the, the normal uh, pacer so um, this is a pacer pro now in regards to the pacer uh, name that was uh, it looks like that's come back in being introduced back into by polar and it was um 30 of around 30 years ago it was um a branding for their watches back then now um on to the review and i'm i'm, I'm going to firstly go with the charging the charge uh, the charger is different so um it's different to the, the other two, so you can see that the um, different charging port, so just to let you know, so the, um, the other charging is like a circle unit that goes over the top of it, um, so yeah, it's very uh, different um, compared to the other two watches. Now, um, the actual screen, when there's the light, back light's not on, is lighter, so it is lighter, and um, let me just go through what it says on the box because I, I can explain them. So ultra light, um, it's, a, it's ultra light, so it is it is um, it is a lot lighter than uh, these the other two watches. Um, it's got grip buttons, uh, so it's super grippier buttons, um, and it, um, uh, like especially like me, if you're old school. And when you do your reps, like I do, for example, I did 400 meter reps, I like to lap it every, every lap with the recoveries and, and it was fine like that. Now it also says that it's got um, a running power and performance test. I'll go on to the performance test later. And um, the running power, um, it's got running power built in the wrist. Um, so just like these ones have. And um, also it's got, heart, it's got um, a heart rate monitor. So as you can see, there was uh, different colors so it's got the different levels of the heart rate for the wrist as well so it, it's got but um on the wrist however i always say to use a strap because i think the strap is more accurate on the chest and um, it's just a more accurate reading um it it explains um it says here as well a specialized training that you can do all that on polar fly i won't go into that um, an en enhanced processor now um, the, it, and and memory, so it's got more memory. Now you wouldn't know they, you wouldn't noticeably know the difference, really. Uh, we wouldn't know, uh, notice it um, too much. But however, I've noticed that it is a lot faster than these two in certain um, areas. For example, when you're scrolling quickly and start a session, that it, um, it just turns over quicker. And like for example, I'm looking at my steps. My steps. Um, gets added a lot quicker than step count than the other two so that's quite interesting to know and they do say it's a lot brighter so that's what it says are on the box now on to um what me testing it now this is very interesting because polar uh, marketing has a running watch okay so but it does everything else um cycling swimming 
So that 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 is a bit strange, um, but I'll go on to that a little bit um, a little bit more. Um, there's new designs. Uh, I mean, I like this design, but new designs, watch designs you can do on here, and they've got some tests as well. They've introduced that. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming the flagship uh, ones will get will get this. Um, let me just um, go through show you the tests. So one of the tests. So we're, um, if if you if you're comparing these, then um, there's tests that this has that that doesn't have, but it's got a cycling test, um, a running VO2 max test, a fitness test, so the cycling like um, FTP test, and a walking test, which is a new feature, which is there, um, which I found very interesting. Um, so it's like a VO2 max test without actually doing, um, you know, going out really hard. Um, when I did this test, uh, I went out for the walk and it was telling me um, it gives you like five minute warm up and then um, it, once you're warmed up inside that time, it lets you go, um, let, tells you when you're ready, you can go. So you, it might be a couple of minutes. For my case, it was a couple of minutes. And what happened was um, I was walking and it was telling me to go faster and it was trying to get me doing 115 uh, heart rate, which is for me when I'm running is like it could be um, eight minute mile pace or just under eight minute mile pace um, depending um, so that was a bit strange so I tried to walk power walk and and um, I went to do it and um, especially when I um, did the the test I was really going for it and I couldn't get I couldn't get my heart rate walking that that high so that was quite um, tough um, and um, uh, it was a bit a bit strange however um, when it did finish it gave me my vo2 max score which was 29 which was a bit puzzled because um like when I did the other test, it says it's in, in the 70s. And when I've had like lactic proper, uh, well, lab tests and stuff with, with a la lactate, um, lactate test and like, you know, the blood sample and stuff, um, I've always been in, um, I've been either in the high 60s or in the, in the 70s. So that, um, I'm not sure I have to keep fiddling around with that and see how, see how that works. Maybe I just didn't get in the, the zone because you have to walk for 20 minutes and I don't th um, think I was right um in in the zone um so 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 that was that um so you've got the tests as i mentioned you've got um you've got like uh you've got all the other features that these have like my previous reviews um power meter heart rate monitor it's got a hill splitter which uh, the previous running watches didn't have and um as mentioned there's new displays um that you, you there's options in there you can change displays to the way um you, you want them now um, now what what I've also found with um, this is that uh, it is quite uh, with the GPS it, it's it's quite good I've had, I've had um, I've tested it against the other two watches and it's, it's quite good like um, I, I mean um, I've had no problems with it I did around the track did 400 meter uh, reps and 200 meter reps and it, and it it got the distance spot on and it tracked it so um, it Normally, if if you're on a track, there's normally a telltale sign that some is not going to be right. So yeah, I, I think that, um, it's pretty accurate. I think to, today, like GPSs are pretty much accurate now. Um, it's not like the old days, so that um, that's quite uh, quite good. Now, disadvantage is it's not touchscreen. Um, it doesn't have re recovery uh, tests, and it hasn't got track back navigation, which these have. But some of these features you may not even. Um, even use so yeah so it's one of those uh it's what depends on what you want now um now this is the interesting part is that although it's marketed as a running watch it is um a fantastic triathlon watch so for 259 pound um it's basically a steal because um what what like with its competitors its rivals um, their, their, their watches are a lot more expensive. You can see these watches are a lot more expensive to do all the stuff, but th this is a fantastic watch for a triathlete. Like it does everything that you want it to do, swim, cycling and running. And um, you are getting um, a very good triathlon watch for the, pri the price it is. And it basically blows its competitors out of the water really because um, other competitors are a lot more expensive um, and you, to get anything near a, um, a multi-sport watch is um, is uh, is quite a lot. Uh, um, it's, it's a lot more. So it, that, so on to, to like my conclusion. Basically, um, it, 
it's a great watch. I really enjoy it. Um, it, it it's a nice design. Um, it's nice and um, nice and round. I do like the round uh, designs. The straps a bit different to the other straps. Um, so um, it's a bit a bit different, but um, I'm not not fussed about that. But um, as a as a just a running watch, um, it's may uh, it, I think it's fine. It may be just a bit pricey, but it depends if you want the test. But as a triathlon watch, I think it's um, a fantastic watch, and and it's a steal. It's a, it's a bargain buy. Um, so if you if you're into triathlons and you want to do other stuff or cycling and stuff, I recommend this is this would be the watch to get for that price. Thanks for watching, guys. And the champions of the distance uh, category, Henrietta Tarasevic, Emilianis Christodoulou, Kim Chibis, Christodoulou.